Guess who's going back to Philadelphia? Hello besties and welcome back to another video. It is currently a little bit before 5 o'clock. I am waiting to leave for the bus stop to go to the Amtrak station. Because as I stated, today we're going back to Philly. And I get to sit on a fucking train for seven and a half hours again today. Because Young Culture, that's who we're seeing tomorrow, doesn't know how to fucking come to Pittsburgh. I've got beef. I've got beef. My fucking train leaves at 7.30. And I'm getting to Philly around 3.00. And then once I get there, I'm meeting up with my friend Katie, and I'm spending the fucking weekend at her house. Update y'all in a little bit. Get into it. <laughs> the cinematography. Why he played it like that? Hello. Give me a ball. Ew. <laughs> it's all wet. Oh. <laughs> Hello, besties. It is, Jesus Christ, it is Young Culture Day. We fucking made it. We, I don't know what I'm fucking saying. I'm at Katie's house with her fucking dog that you've met and seen. Listen to this shit. He loves it. Anyways, so it is Young Culture Day. We are waiting for Katie's friend, Michelle, aka Moto Moto, aka Mo Mitochondria, to come pick us up. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, fit check, if I can find somewhere that'll show off the entire fit. All right, here's the fucking fit check. I got the fishnet top, thrifted, fucked up the edges. It's fine, we're not paying attention to it. Um, this top I just got from Target, uh, pants, also thrifted, necklace from Buffalo Exchange, I think, and then my earrings, you can't see them, but they have little moths on them from Hot Topic. Yeah, I feel like a bad bitch, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> and I'm gonna wear my YC hoodie because it's fucking cold. So yeah, that's the fit. I'm wearing my fucking Vans that I always wear, so nothing new there. Anyways, update y'all when we get to the venue. Show me what's up with the laundry. Show me what's up with the laundry. Show me what's up with the fucking laundry. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Hi bestie, welcome to my outro for this video. Yes, I'm actually doing an outro. Wow, I'm actually getting better at doing this whole YouTube thing. It's so insane. I just wanted to come on here and talk about my experience with this past Young Culture show in Philadelphia. It was so much fucking fun. It was so much fucking fun. Get ready. Michelle comes and gets us. We get in line. Oh my god. And at this point, VIP was already let in. And for those of you that don't know, because we did not know until like right before Michelle came to get us, that the first 20 people in line get free VIP. That would have been nice to know. So we get there and VIP had already been let in. So we unfortunately did not get free VIP, but it was whatever, it was fine. It's eventually time for regular GA to be let in. So we're like fifth in line for that or whatever. So we get let in and everything's great. Everything's Gucci. I met up with my friend Jazzy while I was there. And she saved me a spot on Side Barricade. So I was chilling. It was basically the same spot that I had for Broadside when I saw them there. And it was time for the show to begin. It was time for the show to begin. So Daisy Grenade comes on first. They did such a fucking good job. They're such a vibe. I absolutely love them. And then it was already somehow time for my fucking boys to come on stage. And I was simply not ready. So they perform. They do so fucking good. I'm screaming shiver at the top of my fucking lungs. It's so fucking good. And for what? Motown Who, we do not know her. All I know is Shiver by Young Culture. So the show ends, and by show, I mean Young Culture set ends. And so I'm just like, okay, I'm going over to merch. So I go over to merch, and Gabe is doing merch for this tour, which is interesting because usually it's their photographer, Danny, and he's doing merch, whatever, I say hi. I get a little picture with him. It was great. I talked to him a little bit. Um, he made me spend more money than I wanted to. Actually, that's my own fault because I told him to tell me to not spend money. And I looked this man in the eyes when he told me to not spend too much money. And I said, you know what? Give me both anyways. So that's my bad. You can't just not give money to Gabe from Young Culture. Like, I want to support y'all. At this point, Katie, Michelle, and I are all drinking. It's a good time. I'm already one rum and coke deep. I'm already feeling good. I'm feeling loosey-goosey because I'm a fucking lightweight. And I'm pretty sure that that rum and coke was like 90% rum. So that's great. But so we go over to like this little bench area that's like in the corner. We sit down. We're like collecting our thoughts. We're talking, whatever. And then we see Alex come out and starting to talk to people. And we're just like, oh my God, there's Alex. Ah. And before the show started, before we were even let in, he was outside, like, saying hi to people, and he comes over to us, and he's, like, hugging us and shit. And I guess he ordered a cheesesteak. 
So that was sick. He goes back inside. And so we see him. We're just like, oh, my God. Ah. So we go over to talk to him. And we're, like, waiting our turn, whatever. There's, like, a line. So we get up to the front. And we're all taking our respective pictures. And then Katie or someone is just like, can we get a point five with you? And he's just like, oh, hell yeah, whatever. So I don't know what I was doing at this point because I was a little drunk. I had also had a shot by this point. So I'm fucking just out of it. So uh, Katie is just like calling me over to get um, in the point five. And... Mind you, I don't remember this at all, so I'm just going off of what Katie told me happened, but apparently, she calls me over to do the point five. I come over, and Alex just screams, hi, Sammy, and he pushes our heads together, and I do not remember this happening at all, so I wish someone got that on video or something, because that sounds so fucking funny to me, and... Honestly, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Nothing this man does surprises me anymore. So he did that, I guess. We got our point five. I did a be real with him. Hello. Um, so I forgot to put a very vital part of an interaction that happened in this video. Basically, after we went back and we sat back down after bothering Alex, I remembered that I wanted to ask him why they haven't been coming to Pittsburgh. And keep in mind... I was very drunk at this point. Like, I I was drunk, okay? So, I go up to him. He's at merch at this point. So, I go up to him, and I'm just like, hey. And he sees me, like, standing there, and he's, like, rocking out to meet me at the altar. And so, I start, like, doing the same thing. I'm like, yeah. And then he, he puts, like, this whatever you call this, up to my forehead. And so I do it back to him. And so we're just sitting there and then we're just like this, like shaking. <laughs> and yeah, I just thought it was funny. And then also he decided to give me a whole speech about how much he appreciates me and how he always loves seeing me and how he appreciates how hard I go for them, whatever. And I was just like, Alex, I will literally cry right in front of you right now. Literally, Every single time I see this man, he's so reassuring. Uh, granted, right after the show, I will still think he hates me, no matter what he fucking says to me. So, Alex, if you're watching this right now, hey. <laughs> Literally, I could go, like, months thinking this man hates me, and then the second that I'm in his presence again, that all goes away, because he's so reassuring, and he's so fucking sweet. And, oh my god, if you've not seen Young Culture yet, you need to. There's, they're not just great performers, but they're so fucking nice. Anyways... That's all I wanted to add. Continue the video. The show ends. And they're like all out roaming around. And so we want a group photo with Alex for some reason at this point. So we go over to Alex and we're just like, can we get a group photo with you? Even though the point five technically was one minus Jazzy. So he's just like, yeah, yeah, of course. And so we get a group photo with him and it was the cutest fucking thing ever. You can see the look on my face. I don't think I've ever looked happier in my entire fucking life. Like, the way that Young Culture makes me so fucking happy and brings out, like, the true best version of myself is just fucking astounding to me. Like, oh my god, I love them so much, and I can never thank these fucking guys enough for everything they've done for me. They don't even know. And then it was unfortunately time to say goodbye, which I didn't want to do because I was just like, I don't want to go back home. I don't want to go back home, but we unfortunately had to, so we did, and we got fucking McDonald's on the way home, and then we went home and we watched Bluey. But yeah, that is technically everything that happened. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you liked this video, subscribe, like, comment, do all the things, and stay tuned for the next video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.